Well, to start with, I, I do have a passion for the Mayan culture. And I started uh, 14 years ago uh, making Mayan pieces and developed a lightweight stone that I can cast in. This piece right here is a 16 feet wide, 8 feet high Mayan temple wall. So the idea here is because this wall is built in four sections, uh, it has to be lightweight. And so you first build a hanging system to carry the wall. I first start out and I make a drawing. And although these motifs exist uh, on other temples, uh, this, there's no temple that exists like this. I have the right to change and build it any way I want to do it. So I've done and put several temples together, several different pieces together, and to make the wall. And the nice thing about it is as I start to build the wall, I can change it. So once this is approved by the client and he um, likes the concept, because this is just a conception right here, not how it's going to actually finish out because that, that is the process that unfolds as you go. So if you want to walk back here on this back wall, we're working on the top top of the piece here. I'll show you what Jerry's doing and uh, what we're doing to uh, to de finish the details. So what Jerry's doing here is he's adding the detail. He's sculpting in all the details right now. This, is, by the way, is Jerry. Uh, Jerry's a sculptor, artist, and he's helping me out on this project. So the actual stone piece will have three different kinds of moss and about five kinds of vines, so that when it's hanging on the wall, we'll also put different kinds of moss in the different places. It'll have different kinds of vines hanging down in and behind it. The nice thing about this is that as you detail in colors, and the colors will change like stone colors, you'll get your darks and your lights, and when you hang it, like when this hangs and you see it at a different angle, you get a totally different appearance. It gives you a totally different look than looking at it flat. Also, the, how the light, you can direct the lights on it. And as you move it, the colors and the tones will change on the wall from like night to day, day to night. So what I've done is, over the last few years, it's taken me about three years, I have developed a lightweight stone. A stone in a cement or a hydrostone pour in this would weigh about 120 pounds. Uh, you couldn't even have hardly hanging on a wall. I give you a real limestone. I call it featherstone. Uh, it looks like this. It can be in, you can use it indoors or outdoors. Uh, the, the sun will not affect the colors because I use mineral colors on it. I use natural colors on it. The stone is lightweight that, a, that you can hold it like this. That the stone is that light. So what I did is I had to find a way to come up with a method to uh, make it lightweight so that you can hang it on a wall, and that I could produce it at a reasonable cost.